Hey everybody, BrickLover18 here today with my 2016 Philly BrickFest haul. Philly BrickFest was an absolutely amazing event that just took place over the April 28th to the May 1st weekend. I was lucky enough to be able to be there for about three and a half days and it was just so much fun and as I said, here's all the things that I got from this convention. As promised to Bricksmith, the first thing I'm going to show in this haul is this really awesome pink bucket. I am officially part of the hashtag pink bucket nation, which is really cool because Bricksmith and Howie's Bricks, you know, had these buckets with vinyl stickers saying print pink bucket nation and it was really cool and a lot of us exhibitors got a chance to own one of these buckets and that's really awesome and I'm super pumped to be able to be part of this club now. The first thing we got from the Philly Brick Fest organizers were the Philly Brick Fest bags and there's these really nice cloth bags and this was your goodie bag what you got stuff in when you got to the convention. Really nice Philly Brick Fest 2016 printed on them. So the first thing we got in these goodie bags were our Philly Brick Fest t-shirts which is really awesome because not many conventions give you a free t-shirt just for registering and this one's really cool looking and it's cool because everybody has the same one so on the Saturday a lot of people actually wore them and it was just really awesome. The next thing we got were our BrickFest Live All Access Badges. These are what got us in and out of the convention center this whole weekend. These are pretty important and as you can see BrickFest Live All Access with the event logo and the date which is pretty cool. These are double sided and then my dad and I each got one of these because we both registered. In our goodie bags we also got this Lego Friends Poly Bag 30205. Neat poly bag. It's like a movie star or whatever. Oscars I guess. I don't have this one so now I have two of them and that's really cool. Also in the event kit we got the brick bot so that's like the Philly Brick Fest logo as you can see we got two in red and it makes that little guy here on the back you just see him close up Philly Brick Fest and it's got the event dates you know it's this year's event kit and then we got like little instruction manuals on how to assemble this we got a couple of these little jelly you know bracelets and we also each got a Philly Brick Fest 2016 minifigure. It actually doesn't say 2016, so I guess it's just the Philly Brick Fest minifigure, and there's two different ones, which is pretty cool. And of course, throughout the entire event, I got tons of different business cards and flyers and things like that from other LEGO fans to check out their store, their YouTube channel, their lug, things like that. Other things my dad and I each got in our goodie bags were these Philly Brick Fest 2016 bricks with the date, which is nice. And then at the end of the convention, they were handing out these Brick Olympics because that was the theme of the event. And we actually got to win some medals, which was really cool. Thick and Bricks was also nice enough to give me one of these Holland and Ballin Army bricks, which is so cool. And I put this on my brick badge right away because this is a pretty unique looking print job. I also got a couple stick figs at this event. I got Howie's stuff here and over here. Big B bricks over here, brick jams right here, and Ocean Brick Fire Department right here. On the Friday night at Philly Brick Fest, we actually went to a bowling alley and played bowling for bricks, which is a lot of fun. We got divided into teams, so I played twice. So the first time we played with a you know a smaller 500 piece Ninjago set, and then the four team members and I we got to divide the set up. And here are the parts that my dad and I managed to get. Lots of cool parts here. And the second round I played, I actually was on a team with. Thick and Bricks, Brick Revolution, myself, another guy named Matt, and Cheap Bricks. So that was really cool. We actually came first place, so we got a medal. And this is the set we got to keep. It was the Santa Workshop set. And it was actually just me and the other guy named Matt who parted this out because Cheap Bricks and Brick Revolution just grabbed a couple things that they wanted and called it a day. And then Thick and Bricks didn't really want any of the parts, so the two of us got to part this out, so that was really awesome. Here's the medal that I did win for the bowling. It was, you know, first place. Philly Brick Fest 2016 with Brick Olympics. This is the one we got for bowling. You know, we came first place, we got the medal, and then I actually won a second medal a little later on in the convention on the Saturday night because I was on a relay race team and our team came first place, so that was really awesome. My dad was on the relay team with us as well, so he got a gold medal for being winning, and he actually also came first place overall in the entire convention of A-Falls for the derby race. His car was number one, so that was pretty cool for him. We played a game of Musical Firewalk and I actually came second place. That was so much fun, you know, that was really hard to do. I actually almost went out in the first round because I was trying to film and then I'm like, no, I gotta get my camera away. I gotta win this and I came second place and I actually felt like I was kind of pushed, kind of shoved, kind of just fell off the chair actually and I, my back landed in all those two by four bricks. So that was pretty sore, but that was still such a fun game. So much fun to play and this is what I got for second place. 
really cool. I won a raffle to be able to participate in the Slave 1 speed build. That was a lot of fun. My team came in like third or fourth or something like that. It wasn't quite finished and we never got checked. But just for participating, we did get this limited edition 2014 that wasn't really so limited edition. This is like snow set. From the Brick Journal vendor, I actually picked up four packs of Stud Series 1 trading cards. Really excited to, you know, check these out in a video and do an opening of each of them. I've been trying to get some of these cards to, you know, make a video for you guys for a long time now, but I never actually got an email back, so I decided I'd just buy them myself. I actually also got these with some Brick Journal issues because I got two packs of cards and the Brick Journal for $10 each time, so that was a really great deal. Two very cool issues here, and I can't wait to read them. I went to the Brick Show booth and of course I had to pick up their Brick Craft, Minecraft, you know, gaming machine. This thing is really cool. Love the different stickers and stuff on that. They're not too expensive, so I just I decided to pick it up because they are really cool. As you can see, I picked up several different $2 minifigures, a lot of different Sig Fig parts in here because I actually completely forgot my Sig Fig at home. So, you know, I was like here making my Sig Fig. Also from the Brick Show, they had all of these different poly bags in like three huge bins. And it was really awesome because I got the Statue of Liberty poly bag. I actually got three of them. I almost paid $14 for one of these poly bags at another vendor. And I actually got three from the Brick Show for like $15. So that was an incredible deal considering I almost paid $14. I would have been ticked off if I would have paid that $14 and then the next day seen these for $5 each. Of course, in addition to the Statue of Liberty poly bags, I got these two Lone Ranger poly bags from the Brick Show. The one pump cart, which I always wanted this one and never actually found it. And then I also got like the Tonto's Campfire, which is pretty cool. From Minifig FX, I picked up this Police Public Call Box for my brick badge. Just thought it was a pretty cool brick and another thing to add to my brick badge because I'm always making to like expand that. From them, I also got this Brick Cat, you know, Kit Kat bar made of Lego, which is really awesome, as well as the Sour Patch Kids pack, because again, those are some of my favorite candies. There was one vendor there that had some really neat bulk parts, you know, bagged up and priced individually, so I got a lots of these. The first thing was these little panel pieces with these little, you know, detective's office GPS map or something like that. Two dollars for two of them, that's a great deal. I've never seen these before. I also got a hundred of these one by two light bluish gray bricks. These are really cool. As I mentioned, there's a hundred of these in here, which is for a good price, I thought. Because I'm always using two by two tan tiles, I picked up a hundred of these two by two tan jumper plates because I figured I can use them as tiles and actually hold the minifigures in place, which would be really cool. And I also got 50 of these two by two dark red bricks because I figured I'll use these somewhere. Also, again, great price. From the same vendor, I also got these two minifigures. They were like $2 each, pretty unique pieces. I thought I had like never seen them before. And again, for $2, I'm like, they're mine. From the same vendor that I got this stuff from, they also had these 16 by 16 base plates on sale for six for $20, which is a good deal. I got six white ones and I actually put them in my Bricks Tower Mocks. I replaced the green from them. So that looks really, really awesome. So because I was buying like enough money worth of stuff here, I asked if they could throw in the Minecraft Steve minifigure, and they did. I also forgot to mention in our goodie bags, we each got one free issue of Blocks Magazine, which I haven't read these yet. Seems like a really cool magazine. And then actually, on my Relay team, one of the guys who was on the team, he works with Block Magazine, so he gave me another free issue as well as his business card. So hopefully we can get some cool things worked out there. The Brick Swag people also had all these Brick Swag t-shirts like overflow from other boxes for sale and they were only $5 each so I picked up these two. The one is the chill out one and the other is this prison guard one. Both super cool. I don't remember what vendor it is but they had 12 of these 1x12 white bricks for only a dollar and I'm like well that's a pretty good price. I'm always using white bricks so I decided to pick them up. From the same vendor they also had an option to fill a brick a brick cup with any parts you want. As you can see I completely filled my cup with all these window pieces because window pieces are for me the hardest thing to get. And because you spent like $15 or more you got this classic plastic brick mystery minifigure pack. There was a vendor there who was accepting BrickLink orders for 10% off and pick up at Philly BrickFest. So I got a couple different hundred parts with their store, so that was really awesome. This would have cost a fortune to ship to Canada, so I was really lucky to be able to pick that up for free at the event. Eclipse Graphics was also there at this event, so of course I had to pick up some things from them. This is what I got. The first thing, it's like an Eclipse Graphics sticker you got when you purchase from them. 
I picked up this You Can Do It poster because I think it looks really cool. And I've always liked this poster ever since I saw it in my history room, like way last year or something like that. I've always liked the poster and when I saw it recreated in Lego, like a Lego minifigure, I just thought that was really cool. I got this Brick's Peanut Butter Cup thing because Brick's Peanut, like... Reese's Peanut Butter Cups are my absolute favorite. And of course, the main reason I went to Eclipse Graphics was to get this SWAT Team minifigure. This was such a cool figure. Did I really want to pay $18 for a Lego minifigure? Not really, but it's such a cool figure, and I'm and really glad that I bought it. I plan on making a video just kind of showcasing this minifigure. Because I spent enough at the Eclipse Graphic booth, they also threw in this Eclipse Graphic panel piece to go on your brick badge. At Philly, there was also a yard sale, so I actually picked all this stuff up from Entoc, these two really cool bats, as well as this Spider-Man minifigure, and she gave me an incredible deal on all of the stuff, so I really, really appreciated that, and it was really awesome to meet her in person, and I really appreciate the deal that she did make with me. It was really awesome to meet her, and it was really cool because her Philadelphia State Penitentiary Mock actually won a first place Rocky for Best Philly Creation. She definitely deserved it. It was a really, really cool mock. So from another seller at this yard sale, they had a bunch of different Lego pieces all bagged up. I got this really big bag of ball joint parts because, you know, ball joints are pretty cool parts. I also got all these stair pieces, as well as this big bag of rods. Not really sure what I'm going to be doing with these, but I got a good deal. I think it was like, I don't even know how much for all these parts. Somebody at the yard sale was also selling this Lego A Love Story book, and it's really cool. Cup, only a couple dollars, and it's actually signed. Matt, may you always have a brick separator when you need one. Play well. Very cool for whoever this Matt guy was. Cheap bricks also had a bunch of really awesome things for sale at the yard sale. The first thing I picked up was him was this exclusive Target, you know, build. You whoop. You were able to buy a gift card and get this like little free Lego set with it a couple years ago at Target. So we had this, very, very cool. He also had this old Lego City police station that were, it's not complete, there's no vehicles or anything like that, but a lot of different parts from the police station, and I had this police station. It wasn't too expensive, and I just wanted to be able to expand and make a cool mock out of it. He also had this Lego bank set, which there's no minifigures or anything in it, but I have the bank as well and I want to be able to expand and make it bigger, so I was really excited to find this. When I was buying all the rest of it, he did tell me he had this bin of another police station with some base plates for both police stations and stuff, so I couldn't resist. Basically, from him, I bought two police stations, a bank, whatever else is in this bin, as well as a Target minifigure set. Awesome deal. The Brick Builders Club also had a booth set up where you actually got to fill a box with one t-shirt, and a couple of other things and you actually got this bag included so I as you can see filled up a box to get especially get that free minifigure bag here's the box I'm just gonna quickly open it up here first up I got this brick builders club build pack a Lego dinosaur this t-shirt which I'll unfold that in a minute for you to better see this Jolly Roger Lego minifigure flag Another Brick Builders Club parts pack. I'm not really sure again what's in here. As well as I added these extra, they're funky figs cards. Really neat. Here are the instruction manuals to how to build those things. And you got to choose a Lego set to throw in the box. And I chose this I Heart New York picture frame because it's got the Loch Ness Monster thing from Florida. I did also go to the Lego store and I picked up four different pick brick cups. It was really neat at this Lego store, all their broken or damaged box sets, their displays and stuff, were all broken up and shoved into a big bin with all the different parts and you got to choose those parts as well. So that's how I got a variety of different like Lego pieces as well, some you know, brick separators. That was really cool, something unique that I had never seen a Lego store done before. I'm actually going to make a video opening up each of these pick brick cups because I think some people will be kind of surprised how well of a technique my dad and I and a couple other people that helped us out managed to pack these cups full you never know from the outside but it, these took like two hours to pack from the Lego store I also got one of their passports because I forgot mine back in the hotel room the Lego store also had these Easter chickens on sale for five dollars I love five dollar Lego sets and the final thing I picked up from the Lego store was this free Lego Star Wars you know May 4th promotional poly bag neat little poly bag here probably not gonna open it but hey, anything you can get from the LEGO store for free is a good thing. 
Thanks everybody so much for watching. As you can see, I got lots of really cool stuff at Philly Brickfest. I'm so excited to just, you know, dive in and start using all the different parts that I got. And I'm really, really thankful that I got to go to this event. If you went to Philly Brickfest, let me know down in the comments what you got. Or if you made a haul video for Philly Brickfest, feel free to comment that down below as well. I'd love to check out your haul. And I bet a lot of other people watching this video would love to check it out as well. I apologize for this video being so long. There's just lots of things to cover. Thanks everybody so much for watching, I really hope you enjoyed.